Hello everyone, this is Lovey's Fat Life, and today we're in St. Thomas. No excursion planned. We're gonna kind of just free float around and figure out what we're gonna do this day. Just a hint though, we find a taxi driver, pay him for a little taxi van, and he takes us all around the island. And we really enjoyed it. So hang out with us and we'll show you what we did this day in St. Thomas. All right, we are in St. Thomas for an adventure today. Not sure what, but we are in for an adventure. Yeah, we want the McDonald's bus. <laughs> So just a heads up, as soon as you get off the uh, Carnival cruise ship or whatever cruise ship you're getting on, you'll go to this Having Sight mall area and there'll be these vendors out here trying to get you to do uh, their taxi excursions. Um, a lot of these taxis are the open bus type tours. We really didn't want that. We wanted something, you know, kind of more personable or in, in a smaller, like a van. So we ended up keep walking uh, past this Having Sight mall area and we did find somebody that turned us on to another taxi driver that had a large van. And that's what we took for the day. We'll show you his name and uh, show you his rating on um, on Expedia. And it was, it was really good. So just hang out with us. We're gonna show you what we did and then the areas we went and visited. Don't miss these photo opportunities just off the cruise ship in the Havana site mall area. Was that 300 total? So 300 total? Oh yeah. All right, so at this time we negotiated a price with this gentleman and he, you know, for three and a half, four hours, he would take us where we wanted to. If we wanted to go to Megan's Bay and him stay there while we went for an hour or two, he would do that. Uh, there is an additional fee to pay to go to Megan's Bay. You have to pay that on your own. But here you can see this is a nice large van uh, and we wanted something with air condition and just the five of us. So um, yeah, it was a good enough deal for us. He took us where he wanted to, and then we'll show you more information about his company later on, but let's start checking out the island. Which one is that? The furthest out? Yes, the further one right there. Okay. Now what they do, they buy everything here and catch the boat over. Over there. Actually, your president's son actually has a mansion on Water Island. Oh, so Biden's son? Hunter Biden. Huh. Yep, Hunter Biden has a mansion on Water Island. That's hard to believe. Now, right behind that mountain, you're going to see an island way out there. You see way out there? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That is actually Culebra. That is actually a piece of Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is 40 miles away from St. Thomas. Okay. Now, everybody looking at the cruise ship right there. Look last night, you're gonna see a little hill in the water right there. Yeah. Now look beyond that. You're gonna see our next island way out there. Yep. You see, everybody see? That is actually Vieques. That's where in the 1990s, where they were testing the bombs, you know, the Navy was testing yes, the bombs. Yes, yes. It was actually right there, and then Puerto Rico got upset that it was too close to them. 
Now, look at you guys shit. Now look way beyond there, you're gonna see our next island. Uh -huh. That is actually St. Croix. St. Croix is about 20 minutes away from here. St. Croix is a bigger island than St. Thomas, but less populated. They have at least 25,000 people. We have 55,000 people. As you can see, it's much flat than St. Thomas. St. Thomas has more hills. Thanks, okay, guys. Now, St. Thomas, Alrighty, guys. looking down at the beaches. This is the Atlantic side, where well, some of the Atlantic side. Well, we're looking right now. That beach there, that's Megan's Bay Beach. Top 10 most beautiful beaches in the world. Now, the reason why it's top 10, that beach used to be owned by one guy. His name is Foster Fairchild. If you do not know Mr. Fairchild, he was the president of the New York stock market. Huh. So what he did, he donated the beach and the 57 acres of land to the government but under condition. You can have a resort. You can have make it into a water resort. You can have change the name, which he named it after his older daughter. That's why it's called Maven and the Now you see the houses right next to Megan's Bay Beach? That area there is called Peterborough. Them houses go from 2 million up. Now, everybody see that white house right there with the baby blue top? Yeah. Closest to the water right there? Mm -hmm. That villa is called Sandala. That's where President Clinton stayed right there in that villa. Now, guys, we saw Clinton, but we did not see his passenger. So we do not know if right. he came with Monica <laughs> yeah. or Hillary. We yeah. know him as a player. Or it could have been any other, a, could have been any other one. He said we know he was a player. Now, right there, <laughs> you're going to see a chair right there. That was actually donated by Fairchild for a reason too. That's where Sir Francis Drake, which was hidden, hidden right there at Megan's Bay Beach, so he would be able to signal them with a reflector, telling them from which direction the Spaniard was coming from. Sir Francis Drake? Yep, Sir Francis, which he was a crusader, and then became a pirate, just like Blackbeard. Blackbeard, every, every one of them used to work underneath the Queen but they got tired of giving the queen everything. And then they quit. And then after that, they came wanted, they became pirates. Hmm. Back then, real name was Edward Teach. Yeah, he, 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 he uh, was he killed in, in North Carolina on the coast, yeah. Outer Banks? Yeah, you know he had 18 wives, right? That's what I hear. Yeah, he had Man, eight. I, I feel sorry for that guy. No, 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 how it works though. He had 18 wives, but on every honeymoon, he would kill each one of his wives. Oh, wow. Oh, and wow. what he would do as a trophy, he would braid his beard and tie a red ribbon of each wife he killed. Wow. Ah. Oh, yeah. He's also the one that used to light his beard on fire. Yeah, to uh, scare his... To scare, scare the, scare the enemies victims, away, the enemies he was attacking them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he was a vicious guy. Okay, guys. You see the one right there? Sir Francis Drake Bench. They are known as Crusians, we are known as St. Tomian, and St. John, St. Jonian. Everybody has their own type of language. Like instead of water, we say water. Instead of number three, we say tree. And we talk way fast. <laughs> You're like a northerner. <laughs> <laughs>
Do you find one? Don't get in front of people taking pictures, huh? All right, you guys, this is the same view we saw at Drake's seat, but much higher up. The island straight ahead, that's Hanzalik Island. That was recently sold to Google for $45 million. The boat uh, antenna right there on that island right there. The two islands right next to it, that's Little Tobago, Big Tobago. Not the one in Trinidad, but our Little Tobago, Big Tobago. The one next to that, that's Yos Van Dyke, the third world largest New Year's party is on that little island, right after Times Square, then come London, and then come Yost. The reason why it's so popular is because mushroom is legal. Not the one on the pizza, the other type <laughs> of mushroom. The one next to that, that's Tatola, the British Virgin Island. Wow. And the one all the way to the right, that's St. John. Now the population in St. John is about 5,000. That's part of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Uh, as you can see, most of the buildings are in the front of St. John. The reason why, half of it is a national park. And I don't know if you guys know Kenny Chesney. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, he uh, he lives right there yeah. in St. John. Yeah. You'll actually see him in restaurants, anything. Oh, yeah. He's a regular guy over there. Oh, yeah. We just saw him in concert about two months ago. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> see him walking. Nobody arrests. Okay, let me get a picture of you guys. We get one and split it. You want to? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're trying the world famous banana daiquiri. Let's see how good it is. Pretty darn good. Does it got much alcohol in it? Really good, yeah. So we got some ice cream here, $5 for a couple scoops. This is coconut, Michelle says good. Then Anthony got strawberry over, is it good, Anthony? So it was lunchtime and this taxi driver dropped us off at a little area and you know at first kind of looked a little sketchy but it was actually pretty cool this cool little narrow walkway um and the places was called gladys cafe it's a locally uh, ran and owned little restaurant bar but little cool bars all up and down through here um definitely check out local cuisine uh this was really good so we're gonna go in here and check this place out tell you what we thought about it So we're almost finished with the tour and we're in this cool little quaint place called, was it Gladys Cafe? Yeah. The Gladys Barn Restaurant. It's an old historic building that's been turned into a restaurant. Really cool vibe. It's got cool window decors, which, yeah, kind of this background, this brick right here in that window. That's not a window, that's a picture. But I, I took some video coming in and uh, Anthony's gonna get one on. He's getting grilled chicken here with peas and rice. And then me and Michelle is going to get a jerk chicken breast with fries. But let me show you a little bit of video, which this place looks like. It's really cool. So I'm gonna try these conch fritters. See how they are. That's just a hush puppy outside part. 
Oh. Let's go inside. Okay. Yeah, okay. A little bit of spice on the tail end of this. The conch fritters are great. They're really good. It doesn't have a lot of, it doesn't feel like it has a lot of conch in it though, but you can see inside breading. Let's try the hot sauce. All right, so now I put their Gladys hot sauce. Let's try it. That's got a kick. Ooh. If you like hot stuff, definitely try that out. It is kicking hot. Is the hot stuff hot? I mean, it's got a little spice to it, but no. It ain't, no, it ain't nothing you can't handle, right? Yeah. Cause you're the man. Okay. All right, so we got the jerk chicken breasts. It's like grilled chicken with jerk sauce on top. We will take those onions off right there. Here, here. Michelle's That's gonna smell like an armpit chicken, now. Rice and veggies. This is. So we're gonna try this. Okay. Try the sauces coming. This is grilled chicken with rice and peas and vegetables. I'm going to taste it without any sauce on it because I am going to put some onions on it. Oh, I taste okay. All right, Michelle's trying the chicken sandwich. Is it spicy? Does it taste like jerk? So it's a jerk sauce then, huh? Yes, it's, it's spicy. It's good. Anthony, how's your food? I want mom to try this. Uh oh, that must mean you don't know, like it. Yes. It's spicy. I can't taste it because I'm, I'm on fire from that. It's incredibly spicy. Alright, let's go wait for a big bite. Wow. That jerk sauce is spicy. Um, the chicken is very moist, cooked perfect. Good grilled taste to it. That jerk sauce on top of it is lighting my ass up. Yeah. Woo. But it's good. It's really good. Thumbs up. Let's try. So we didn't know this in advance and kind of took a chance, but this St. Thomas discount taxi is who we used and the guy's name was Mason and he did a great job. It's a, a five on TripAdvisor as far as their overall reviews. I looked at them and you know, they had a couple ones here and there with some, somebody saying they were late two or three years ago, but we had a great time. He was awesome with us. He uh, showed us everything that we asked him to take us to. We didn't spend any beach time. Uh, this particular time because we wanted to kind of tour the island get a good view of it we're actually going back in february of 2024 uh, with celebrity so we were going to go to megan's bay uh, and actually see the beach then but he did a great job in our situation uh, with us so again not an advertisement for them if you want to use them that's great if not i just wanted to add this at the very end tell us what you think do you like saint thomas what's your favorite thing to do in saint thomas we absolutely love the island it's very beautiful the food was great uh, and next time we're going to actually go hit the beach. But thank you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe.